Thank you very much, Marius, for in, in, um, introduction. Um, yes, so I'm going to talk a little bit about iOS uh, campaigns in our company, in reality games. Um, and uh, just to prove what Marius just earlier said, let's start from the creatives. How important are the creatives in iOS campaigns? And as Mario said, uh, the, um, uh, the the creatives have very very short lifespan uh, in uh, in iOS. That's why it's important to replace them frequently. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have one of our um, where is the is this the pointer? Yes. Uh, as you can see here, is one of our ad groups. It's an uh, ad group from uh, Netherlands. Uh, you can see here that the peak of, uh, the, of that ad group uh, was uh, reached, uh, the reach, reached the peak of the audience uh, very quickly, uh, and uh, it should be changed very soon. Um, and uh, it looks like a CPA campaign, yes? Uh, CPA campaigns or TROS campaigns, they eat the budget very quickly. Uh, but here, here we don't have so big budget as the big CPA or ROAS campaign. Uh, this campaign uh, maybe spends about 200 USD um, a day. So um, they burn very quickly. Uh, and uh, another thing is that uh, the most of the audience comes from YouTube, also as Marius earlier said. Um, here uh, we also have, uh, I would like to show uh, the uh, video ad. Apparently it requires uh, the, the access, so I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, but what I wanted to show you here is that um, um, this ad shows actually a very important thing about our uh, game. In our game, you buy properties. Uh, real properties in real locations. And for us, it's very important to show the audience um, what is the clue of our game, what is the most important part. Yes, so uh, at the very beginning, we're showing it at the end of the ad. And we had very low traffic from that, from that uh, ad group. So we did some tests, of course, and we put that part at the very beginning. And, and obviously, it was it worked worked um, much better. Uh, so um, a lot of companies they don't do iOS campaigns. Why? Because it's really hard to measure it. But we took that risk at Reality Games, and we uh, we decided we are going to measure it by a country, completely per country. So what we did, we just uh, at the very beginning we uh, have chosen a few markets where we have very low organic traffic and we launched iOS campaign. And simple as that, we just took all that traffic from that campaign uh, and um, compared it with uh, Firebase data uh, from that market. And so we have here uh, our uh, custom report. Uh, you can see here I've chosen a few few countries for you to see. Um, later on, uh, we have taken uh, we, we started taking the uh, average um, numbers from the pre -camp pre campaign period, uh, so we could uh, um, just uh, um, deduct it from all the numbers that we had from the campaign, uh, and. Uh, I must say it's, of course, not for everyone. The reason is that this method is not 100% uh, accurate and it's uh, difficult to scale it, yes? Uh, you can scale it per country, and you need to, but you need to remember that, uh, that one source uh, should correspond, uh, correspond to uh, one country. Yeah, otherwise, it would be very hard to measure it. Uh, and uh, this is this works well for uh, the company uh, as ours. We're not really big company, yes. So uh, we can scale it 
uh, by by countries, but we don't scale it uh, by the source. Um, and another thing is uh, that we can control the campaign by um, setting the lower CPI. So this way, we're not going to spend uh, millions of dollars. Yes, of course, the, the bucket of the users is much smaller and uh, sooner or later it's going to deplete. Uh, but uh, we can easily control our spending. Uh, and as you can see here, these are basically, these, these are, as Marius also mentioned earlier, these are CPI campaigns. So uh, you can see that our uh, D14 ROAS is pretty high, yes? So uh, actually, uh, from the business perspective of, uh, for, for our company, it works very well. Uh, another, another reason why we use uh, iOS companies, uh, campaigns is uh, because we can support other um, UA uh, actions with those campaigns. Uh, for example, here we have um, um, influencer marketing campaign in Denmark. Uh, the initial, the, the um, goal in this kind of campaign, one of the goals, is to reach the top 10 in the games category. Uh, like you can see here, we, we reached that uh, top three in Denmark. Uh, and to... Um, why, why, is it, why is it so important? Because we wanted to get more uh, organic traffic. Yes, everyone likes organic traffic. It's our favorite, of course. Uh, and um, to get even more of that organic traffic, we launched uh, an iOS campaign in Denmark. Uh, therefore, we can have that um, top position in Denmark much longer. And uh, here we have the budget share of iOS versus Android uh, in the reality games. Uh, you can see that um, we do quite a lot of iOS campaigns, but still the majority of our traffic uh, comes from uh, Android. Uh, here is uh, Android Google Ads campaigns. Uh, here are Android Unity Ads, uh, iOS, and uh, iOS Google. Uh, so you can see that we are um, basically uh, spending much more money on Android still than iOS. And here is the share of insults for uh, different types of campaigns in uh, Google and Unity campaigns. Um, so this is data from, from August. Uh, we can see that uh, most of our uh, actions uh, on iOS uh, are from Google, uh, and these are CPI campaigns. Uh, here you cannot see, but uh, but here are also um, ROAS campaigns from Unity, also on iOS. Uh, but still, we are doing much more uh, iOS campaigns on Google. And uh, there's one more thing I would like to mention. Uh, after me, uh, there's going to be uh, another person speaking, Mariana. She is going to talk about Adras campaigns. Uh, I would like to uh, talk, uh, tell, tell you a few things about Adras campaigns. Well, we do quite a lot of it. Uh, it this is one of our game, Leonard Go. Uh, this is our main product. This is our also the second uh, product. Uh, Adras campaigns are um, the specific of that campaigns is that you get very high quality user. Uh, with very low cost, uh, and uh, it works better for us. It works better in different products. Yeah, so here you can see that uh, here is Landro Tycoon, the second uh, product. Um, here is Landro Go. So you can see that um, actually uh, ROAS from uh, these campaigns is, mu is much lower than uh, D7 from uh, Lenro Tycoon. Uh, this works really well for uh, one of the products uh, and um, um, basically I would like to uh, give my voice to the next person. <laughs> 